Good afternoon, brothers and sisters, and Father God and I welcome you here today, and I am so, just so filled with great joy to be able to come and, and share his word as I have spoken and, and done many times with each of you that uh, join us here today. Um, it is just such a great joy to be able to express what Father speaks to us and shares to us and reveals more about who he is and the power of his love and how we are given the uh, empowerment to be able to live out a life of obedience with such a great desire to please the Lord and to be open to do what pleases him. Uh, as I come here th this time with you, I want to share a little bit that uh, today has just been flowing with much sweetness of his love flowing through other people. And um, I just I just get so full because that joy just keeps pouring over into my path. And, uh, you know, as I open my heart to him every morning, as I encourage each of us to do, that we not only hear with our eyes and uh, I mean, hear with our ears and see with our eyes, but when we connect with others and we're hearing this and it connects to our hearts where we know the dwelling that uh, the spirit connects, uh, we, we are brought into a place that we can just praise him and, and shout hallelujah. But one of the things that really inspired and has brought me into this greatness of joy was a conversation that I had with my grandson this morning. A uh, little, little one brought such great joy to me. Um, I haven't spoken to him for over a little bit of a week. He was out uh, on vacation on a wonderful journey. Uh, and I just filled with great joy when I heard his voice. That filled me, just filled me. As we know as grandparents, uh, that joy just comes into our hearts. But as we were in, in interacting in our conversation, and before we got ready to depart, he started talking and opened me up to things that he said, Mimi, I, I want to tell you what to pray for. So as I was listening to him, he started speaking the greatness of what God's love does for us and what we are told to do. And that is to pray for other people. And his little request was this morning was three things. One of the things that we know we need to do is pray for other people that are in despair or people that are not uh, having what we see that could help them to be more comfortable in their walk in life. So he brought that into our path. That was a prayer request. Another one is to pray for our enemies, to pray for them. And then he started talking to me, the awareness of what he senses about what's happening around us in this world. And he said, Mimi, he said, you know, God will take care of us and God will protect us and he will come. We, he will come and he will take us up with him. This is such a great joy as a grandmother to hear a grandson or a grandchild when we are walking with them. If they're expressing themselves of what they know, but they are expressing it in a way that it's not fear, they are asking for us to pray for this. Um, he also prayed for others that are challenged in their health. And that just really warmed my heart because he's really got a heart of kindness. So one of the things that I walked away with that is the joy that I got to be actually listening to a child. And I encourage each of us, take that time, listen to those voices of those little children, even our youth. They are being moved in their spirits to be able to connect with us, to be able to encourage us to know what we need to be doing and to be able to set that example by sharing it with them. So before we departed, as we always do as a grandmother uh, of these grandchildren, I encourage them to always pray. Let us share that prayer time. So I was filled with great joy when we shared that prayer of what he requested for me to share. So one of the verses that come to me as I reflected on that conversation with him was from James. And here James is telling us, it's the prayer of faith, that we as the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. Here again, this is talking about praying with one another. And, you know, prayer is answered. It may not be answered at the moment, but we know Father listens to our prayers. We are his children, and he hears our hearts. He certainly knows what's best. He certainly knows our hearts, and he will give us the desires of our hearts 
if it lines up according to what God's will is. And as his children, we're able to know what his will is. That is to love other people, to love your neighbor as you love yourselves. So with that great encouragement and the great joy that I got today, that the connection me and my grandson had is something that is from God. And what a powerful witness that, you know what, we do pray for other people. And we be reminded that we pray for one another. And that we're also reminded that when we are in prayer, that the prayer of a righteous person is powerful. That's just amazing. And that comes from James, James 5, uh, verse, uh, verse 16. Let me read this. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. Healing can come in great, great ways. We need that. We need that spiritually as well as we do physically. And the only way to get that healing is through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will manage and take care of both of them according to what's best for us. Because we're told the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. So we have that power to claim anything that lines up with God's will that we ask in his name. So, brothers and sisters, be filled with that great joy. Share it with each other and listen to our children. Listen to our youth. Listen to each brother and sister because we are connected in his spirit and that is our life that is given to us through Jesus Christ. So enjoy this day and I will continue to just continue to let this flow out of me as the day continues to unfold because when you're fooled and it's been poured into you by God's love, there is no other way but just to let it flow out of us. And this is Jesus himself that lives in each and every one of us. So let us pray. Father God, we're so grateful, Lord, that we have movement, Father. And the movement that comes is within us, Lord, that connects us to you, Lord. And Father, that movement of love is shared so many ways, Lord, through so many uh, that we're connected to. Whether it's through our children, our grandchildren. Uh, our brothers or sisters in Christ, or Father, people that we do not know. It's a connection of love that flows only from you that we have been given from your son, Jesus. So Father, we're just so grateful to be able to come and connect in spirit to one another through the spirit of love. Father, we know that you are spirit and we, um, we worship you in truth, Lord, and your truth comes from your holy word. And Father, we know that the spirit reveals more of who you are and more of what your will is to us. And the more we grow with you, Father, and walk with you and are open, Lord, to hear with our hearts as well as our, our ears and to be able to see through the eyes of Jesus, we're able to carry out the word of the good news, Lord, that we have been given love and we are loved and your mercy and grace has been extended from that cross through your son jesus so father we just praise you and we thank you lord let each one that is listening to this lord be moved in their spirit and come in that form of just submitting it all to you lord and giving you praise and bringing you glory as we move forward into the days ahead we ask this lord as a whole body your church lord and we praise you, Father, in your Son's name. Amen. Bye-bye.